Hey, what's going on, everybody? Corrupt Chunks here, and today what I'm doing is I'm showing you guys these Grimoire cards that are actually on the Destiny Companion app. A lot of people don't know about these. They know what they are, but they never really looked into them, and I'm going to be showing you guys the Thorns Grimoire cards today and kind of the backstory on the Thorns. I think it's pretty interesting, so I'll just share it with you guys so you guys don't have to go into the app and go through all that stuff. Here we go with the Thorn. This is the gun itself. There's some other fragment things from Ghosts that I'll also be reading. Friend one's enemy is to see them not as equals, but objects. Hollow of spirit and meaning. Thirteenth understanding, seventh book of sorrow. Augmented through dark practices, Thorn was once a hero's weapon. Its jagged frame hints at a sinister truth. Powerful connection to the unutterable sorceries of the hive. The legend of Thorn is bound to the rise and fall of Dredgen Yor, a guardian whose name is remembered with disgust and shame. The weapon was thought destroyed, but rumors of its existence still haunt the wilds. So that's just the thing on the thorn. And then for this video, I'm going to be reading the first ghost fragment on the thorn. And then in the other videos, I'll read the second one and the third one. Rose. The noble man stood, and the people looked to him. He was a beacon, hope given form still only a man, and within that truth there was great promise. If one man could stand against the knight, then so too could anyone, everyone. In his strong hand the man held a rose, his aura burned bright. When the man journeyed on, the people remembered, and his wake hope spread, but the man had a secret fear. His thoughts were dark, a sadness crept from the depth of his being. He had been a hero for so long, but pride had led him down sorrow's road. Slowly the shadow's whisper became a voice, a dark call, offering glories enough to make even the brightest light wander. Even he was fading, yet he still yearned. On his last day, he sat and watched the sun fall, his final thoughts, pure of mind, if not body. Held to a fleeting hope, though they would suffer for the man he would become, the people would remember him as he had been. So the noble man hid himself beneath a darkness no flesh should touch, and gave up his moral self to claim a new birthright. Whether this was choice or destiny, the truth known only to fate. In that cool evening air, as dusk was devoured by night, the noble band ceased to exist in his place, another stood. Same meat, same bone, but so very different. First and only of his family, sole forebearer and the last descendant of the name Yor. His first moments as a new being, looked down at his rose and realized for the first time that it had no petals only the jagged purpose of angry thorns so that's the first one kinda just talks about how this guy made the thorn and then how his decision to make the thorn changed him and basically just started making this amazing guardian turn evil and corrupt and just completely changed him and the way that he acted on the light that's the first one, and the other two, they just get better. I really like these. I'll also probably be doing the last word ones, because the, that's pretty cool, too. Has some really good storyline. I don't know why they just did good storyline on the hand cannons, because they totally could have done some good storyline on probably the Gallahorn or the Vex. Necrook has them, definitely, because of all the things you got to do to get that. And then here's just me using the thorn a little bit. If you guys didn't know, the thorn has some really... Cool attributes too, too, how it can pierce the enemy so it can go through like four different people in one shot, and then it does the poison shit. Which everyone knows about that, because everyone uses Thorn in multiplayer. It's one of the best weapons just because of that. Alright, well that pretty much wraps up the video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, that'd be great. And if you're new to me and my channel, subscribe, that'd also be great. See you guys next time. See ya!